I'm going to show you how to create a summative assessment task in Toddle so that it shows up in the gradebook and provides evidence that we are assessing the standards that we've selected for the school. So here we are in my unit planning. I'm going to come to my genetics and evolution unit because that's the unit I'm looking for. I scroll down until I get to the assessment tasks that I'm after, my summative assessment tasks that are here. I'm gonna to come to this corner. I'm gonna to go to new, and I want a new summative assessment task. Here's my grade, my duration. I've gotta set it for at least an hour so that it shows up. Is it the correct term? Yes, it is. I'm not worried about the category. Here are the instructions. Right. My title is, this is my example assessment task. Okay, give my instructions. If you want, you can record audio instructions to be inclusive. You can outline what it is. Students explain how genetics help us understand relationships and identities, right? If you want to give the students a, a template, which you can do from Google Drive, it'll create a copy for their, each student gets their own. You can provide them with whatever resources you want to give, right? But I'm focused on getting the task to appear in the gradebook. So for assessment tool, I click this little circle and I'm going to choose my criteria-based rubric. And these are the criteria that I have placed or selected when I created the unit. And so it only chooses from the ones that I've selected and they were already the correct year. So this is going to be a simple A1 and A3 task. I click create. Now it's gonna give me a rubric that will appear for each student. That's great. Okay, my learning goals, I'm going to select my subject standards, right? And because this is a biology unit about genetics, I'm going to use this about, we're talking about meiosis and mitosis for chromosomes, DNA, and genes, right? That standard is applicable to this quiz, right? And then if you want to make notes, you can. Voila, it is saved. And here you have it there. So then you can simply open the task and you can assign it to your students. And once it has been assigned, then it will appear in the gradebook. So that's how you make sure that any tasks that you create will actually show up in your gradebook and provide evidence that we are assessing the curriculum as we go through our evaluation visit.